again. Welcome to another of the GSAT and PET Mathematics Summer Series compared by Techno Teacher GE. This is question 42 out of 150 questions. This question asks, what are the factors of 60? What are the factors of 60? The choices are A. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. B. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30. C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. And D, 2, 3, 5, 10. Again, the question and choices. What are the factors of 60? A. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. B. 2, 3, 5, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30. C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. And D. 2, 3, 5, 10. Do you know how to calculate factors? Do you know how to work out the factors of a number? Do you know how to work out factors? I will give you about a minute to come up with the answer. You can pause the video for longer if you'd like more than one minute. After about one minute, my answer will come up and then you'll have about another minute to review my answer after about um, another minute my answer will come up i will come in again after about another minute i will come in again and explain my answer Did you come up with the correct answer? 
Okay. This is where when your timetable comes in really helpful. This is where knowing your timetables comes in really handy. To know the factors of a number. Well, all the, the factors of a number are all the numbers that can divide into that number without leaving a remainder. Okay? The factors of a number are all the numbers that can divide into a number without leaving a remainder. So let's, you can divide or many people multiply. If you know the timetable, you can multiply because you just know it offhand. You just know it easily on your own if you know the timetables. You will, you, will, you will know the numbers that can divide into a number without leaving a remainder. You will know it easily if you already know the timetable. You will know it easily if you know the timetable. Let's uh, divide. Let's divide 60. First of all, let's divide 60. Here on the screen, you can see that I am multiplied. But I will do some division here also. But in the explanation. We are going to divide in our 8. Let's divide 60 first of all. First of all, you can divide it. The 60 by itself and you can divide it by 1. So both 60 and 1 are factors. Next, let's divide 60 by 2. 2 into 60 goes 30 times without a remainder. So 2 and 30 are both factors of 60. Let's divide 60 by 3. 3 into 60 goes 20 times without a remainder. So both 3 and 20 are factors of 60. Let's divide 4 by 60. 4 into 60 goes 15 times without a remainder. So both 4 and 15 are factors of 60. Let's divide 60 by 5. 60 into 5 into 60 goes 12 times without a remainder. So both 5 and 12 are factors of 60. Let's divide 60 by 10. Let's divide 60 by 6. Let's divide 60 by 6. 6, six into 60 goes 10 times without a remainder. So both 10 and 60 are factors of 60. So both 10 and 6 are factors of 60. Let's go to 7. Let's divide 60 by 7. No, 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 here is where calling. No, here is where no the timetable quickly tells me that there will be a remainder because I know that six. I know that seven into six you can't, and then seven into six there's no num there's no sixty in these seven timetables. So I know that there will be a remainder. So let's go on to eight. Here again, I know that there is no 60 in the 8 time table, so there will be a remainder. Let's go on to 9. I also know that there is no 9, there is no 60 in the 9 time table, so there will be a remainder. Remember, there cannot be any remainder for it to be a factor. There cannot be any remainder for it to be a factor. Well, let's go on to 10. You already did 10 because, because, we know that 60 divided by 6 is equal to 10 times. So we will, be, we will be repeating ourselves from now on. So we can stop dividing from here because we have already we have already done 10 times 10, 10 times 6. We've already done 5 times 12. We've already done 4 times 15. We've already done 3 times 20. We've already done 2 times 30. And we've already done 1 times 60. So we'll be repeating ourselves if we continue from here. So we can stop here. So we, know we have already gone through all the factors now. So we can stop here at 10. So we have the factors of 60 to be 
the factors of 60 are 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20, 4 and 15, 5 and 12, and 6 and 10. Once again, the factors of 60 are 1, 60, 2, 30, 3, 20, 4, 15, 5, 12, 6, 10. Once again, let's say it in order now. The factors of 60 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. So that makes it C. C. That makes the answer C. C. Again, the question and answer is what are the factors of 60? The answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, and 60. I will give you about another minute to review the question again and review my answer. You may pause the video for longer if you'd like more time than one minute to review it. But I will give you one minute to review the question and the answer and to make sure that you understand both the question and the answer. Have your child prepare for the grade 3 diagnostic test, the grade 4 literacy test, the numeracy test, and GSAT and PEP all in one. Remember that GSAT and PEP are both basically the same thing. The exams are structured differently, but the topics are basically the same thing. In, they're in PEP, they will still be doing mathematics language arts, science, social studies, and composition and writing. So, you can use this test to prepare for PEP as well, and they are suitable for the grade 3 diagnostic test, the grade 4 literacy test, and the grade 4 numeracy test. Remember that these are starts in grade 4 also, and the PEP also starts in grade 4. Don't forget that. So, start preparing from a 4 grade 4, okay? Start preparing from no, start preparing from the four grade four. Receive 50 GSAT past papers and practice tests, 10 of each of the five GSAT subjects mathematics, language arts, communication tasks, social studies, and science, with answers and explanations, all conveniently delivered island wide by email. The, the full package costs just $4,000. 
payments should be made island wide to any branch of Jamaica National Building Society account number 00111144024102 halfway tree branch account holder's name is Richard Sharp notify me when payments are made to receive your package telephone and this is a whatsapp number this number uses whatsapp 353-4752 or email me at jamaica island wide link at yahoo.com send me your email send me an email when you make payments send me an email from the email address that you would like the e the test sent to the emails the test sent to so send me an email after you have made payment send me an email from the email address that you would like the test sent to and in that way i will know the email address that you want me to send it to the test will be emailed to you the day after payment is made go ahead write down that account number right now the jamaica national building society account number zero zero one 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 four four zero two afri tree branch account holder's name richard sharp write down that account number right now and make your payment right now to receive your test and be ready for pep gsat grade 3 diagnostic test grade 4 literacy test or grade 4 new or grade for numeracy tests And don't forget that these GSAT tests are also suitable for primary exit profile. PEP. Hello. subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos that are available on youtube as soon as they become available so go ahead and click that subscribe button it's free like and subscribe and also you're invited to share my videos so you, when you when you subscribe when i upload a video for instance, if I if the video you are watching is social studies part two, when I upload social studies part three, you will get a notification on your computer right away that I have uploaded social studies part three and you can go ahead and see the video. So go ahead, click that subscribe button right now. Thank you for watching. You should watch these GSAT videos over and over again until you know them from memory. Repetition is important. You can always message me if you have any questions or need further help using my email address. 
my Facebook page or the telephone numbers that are shown on the screen. So bye bye for now. Bye bye.